Sharks are the top apex predators of all marine life. With more than 1,000 species of sharks and rays, they are some of the oldest living creatures on our planet. They are perfectly engineered to cut through the water with no resistance to slow them down. Large jaws that can bite down up to hundreds of pounds of force and the instinct to kill are what make these the killing machines that we know them to be today. With the media painting them out to be horrible monsters, there was a slight hesitation to drop everything and to rescue them. But without them, we realized that we wouldn't be here today. They keep marine life in perfect order, a system that is unfailing and without human interaction is an absolute state of flawlessness. Then why is our ocean dying? It's because of us. It's our fault. It's global warming, plastic pollution, air pollution that's killing them off. Before I talk about sharks, I first need to talk about why I'm talking about sharks. When we started this project, I was told that we would be doing work on making a documentary about an endangered species that we had the choice of and why we should save them and care about them. I chose marine predators and that soon narrowed down to sharks. That same day, we went to do a Guy Harvey shark talk and that was when it clicked for me. Seeing his passion for sharks made me want to make protecting sharks and informing people about them my main priority with this film. And in a few weeks, our wild week of wonder gave me the confidence to make the changes that I wanted to make in my daily life and other people's lives. This began on the Monday where we took a boat trip through the mangroves. We learned a lot about the species of mangroves and how they protected small fish from predators that lived there. And then on the Tuesday, we went to Lover's Wall for a much needed beach cleanup. We also got a talk from an eco diver named Miss Brittany. I was able to talk to her and ask her some questions about where this trash was coming from and how I could keep myself from giving in to the convenience of using single use plastics. This has also inspired me to make changes in my home life. Another person who inspired me as well was Dr. Goodbody with her lionfish dissection and talk. Dr. Gretchen talked with us about how dangerous they were for our ecosystem and gave me more of an insight on how they affected each species in our food chain. On the Thursday, we were set to do another beach cleanup at Barker's Beach where we were able to collect different kinds of trash because of the beach's location. And on Friday, we were able to go out on a boat to Stingray City and buy the reef to snorkel and have just a day of fun. These are just some of the many experiences that we had to make us more informed and give us footage for our documentary. This is a part of the journey that made me passionate for sharks. Sharks are so important to our ecosystem and if we don't give them a break by constantly overfishing and killing them and illegally selling their fins for shark fin soup, we will set off the seventh mass extinction. Our oceans will die and without our oceans we would have no more phytoplankton to eat our carbon dioxide emissions and our atmosphere would overheat and kill us off with mass famine and slow starvation. A series of reactions ensues with none of the outcomes being any good for us or any of the other animals on Earth. This is why I am asking you to be informed and to be aware of the decisions that you make. This could mean by making sacrifices to the things that you buy, eat, throw away and sell. So instead of using multiple single-use plastic bottles that will end up in the ocean, use a hydro flask. Instead of buying tuna, when the bluefin tuna is the most endangered marine animal of all time, maybe you could buy chicken which is a much more sustainable food source. Instead of eating grouper, like you would at a restaurant, I presume, try lionfish. It's much more sustainable to eat as it does nothing for our ecosystem besides damage it, while the Nassau grouper is potentially facing extinction. So I'm here to talk to you about making sustainable choices and making them the right way possible. Because without sharks, we wouldn't have all of the little moments that we have every day that give us a chance to enjoy our lives as best as we can, to live in the moment. Because shark protection is not a moment, this is a movement. And it's about keeping the sharks safe and keeping our oceans even safer. This is why I need you to be informed, to be aware, and to be a part of the solution. I just want to say a great big thank you to all of the amazing people who let me use all of their clips and their videos and all of their pictures because without them, you know, this documentary wouldn't be any good. And also thanks to my um, absolutely awesome dad 
who helped me put this together and got me on the right track for my documentary. So thanks, Dad.